what's up family welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be reacting to an interview with boosie and uh young miami on her, sh her podcast called carisha please right and a lot of controversy has been surrounding this because he said something about you know homosexual people uh but we all used to what boosie be saying all the time man that he, he he's opinionated as hell we know that you know but he was also asked a question about his daughter and why he is the way he is with his daughter and his daughter responded on Instagram. So we're going to get into those videos. And I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on it. And y'all make sure y'all share y'all thoughts on it in the comment section, man. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I upload these videos, man. Because I'm uploading bangers, bro. So let's get right to the video, man. Lucy, why you always gay people business? <laughs> I don't really, I don't, look, 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 look. <laughs> Why you always in gay people hey, business? Can I answer, can I answer? Yes. I don't really be in gay people business. No, I just speak on what I don't agree with. You know, I'm not, I don't wake up thinking about gay people. I mean, I just might say something every once in a while that I don't like. And as a voice, I have that right. I have that right for me. I have that right for the sons that I'm raising up to be men. I have that right. If I don't like somebody doing something that a woman does, that is a woman trait, I'm gonna have something to say about it and you might as well get used to it. What is a woman trait? Your hair, your nails, your toes. That is a woman trait that been a trait since that 70s, 60s, 80s, 90s. What we looked at women as, she got some beautiful nails. So when me, as a person, listen to these people talking about slaying iron and shit, but you won't paint your nails and do all this other shit, you're double dipping. <laughs> that is a woman trait. A woman already got a battle up against all these other girls on Instagram. You got to battle against all these other people. Why you got to battle against a man? <laughs> and why the women ain't saying nothing about it? The women, I got a voice. I'm saying, I look. I know I look like I'm in everybody's business. But if you say something about it, you gonna look the same way, but it's no woman. It's no woman out there with a voice saying something about a man coming in bed with nails like her. Because they, it, cause, 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 cause if, it, if it's cool, it's cool. I kind of agree with him on that. I feel like that if more women came out and said something about having to be in competition with a whole nother man, then it, 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 would, it would probably spark something. I don't know what it would spark, but I'm pretty sure it would spark something to where, you know, changes can be made, you know? so. I don't know, but I, I kind of agree with that. If it's cool, you got to let it be cool. If you ain't going to say that. If it's cool, it's cool. Because you know why? If it's cool, then when your son asks to paint his nails, mama got to go paint his nails. Yeah. Can't so be mad. So you ask him, is it cool with all the parents out there when your child is cute? Because yeah. all his favorite people who he look up to, all of them got it. So next he coming to mama. Mama. Can I get my nails done? What you gonna say? What you gonna say, Carisha? <laughs> what I'm gonna say is, I have said some ignorant shit before in the past, and I feel like you have to accept people for who they are. And. Just so we clear, accepting people for who they are does, it doesn't have anything to do with me not agreeing with your lifestyle. I don't have to agree with your lifestyle to accept who you are. I don't have to want that stuff around me to accept who you are. I can accept who you are from a distance. It just means that, okay, you know, you do you. I can't stop you from doing you, but I don't want that around me. That's all I'm saying. I think that you're raised that it's wrong. We all were. Yes, life. I am. Life I'm is a life. Southern Every, Baptist. Everybody is different this. in life. I'm a Southern Baptist. I will say. Your dad was a pastor. You grew up in the no, church. No, my grandfather was a pastor. You grew up in the church. I grew up in the church. I'm born in a crack area. You had to go to church. 
or you will be on crack. <laughs> you had to go to church. They did not everybody went to church. I'm real, I'm, you're right, I'm a Southern Baptist. I, I feel a certain way about a lot. I was, I was raised a certain way. Yeah, so I think that's like, you know, we was <laughs> church, you know. But I think that when you grow, you get older, you wiser. You know, everybody is different in life. Nobody's the same. You gotta love people for who they are. I do. I mean, I love people. I have gay people in my family. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't condone the issue. It's not coming. It's not coming. I'm raising a generation. So when your daughter came out and told you she was gay, it was nothing. I mean, she still can't bring her situation to our house. My daughter is grown. Well, why? She's grown. Because I don't want it to contaminate her other. It's a, it's a generation we raised. And you know what? That's where the conversation. This is where the con controversy started right here, because he said contaminated. I, we can see, we can see that Boosie doesn't articulate himself well, right? Cause he, he he from the country, man, but he tries best. And I think he just chose the wrong word when he was saying what he was saying. I think he what he meant to say was he didn't want what his daughter was doing to influence her younger siblings. Uh, because it can very well do that. It can very well do that. But he didn't want it to influence them. If they decide to do that on their own, it will be based on their own choices. Not because I saw my sister do it. It looks cool. So I feel like I can do it. A lot of kids do that. A lot of kids smoke weed because they see other kids smoke weed. A lot of kids do do street stuff because they see other kids do street stuff and they want to be a part of it and they want to be cool. So you can't tell me that children's minds aren't impressionable. So my Boosie is well within his rights, man. That's all I'm saying. I don't want her kid to get to contaminate to her, her other six, seven sisters who look up to her. I Damn, want Boosie got a lot of to bring me grandchildren the right way. Yeah, Boosie crazy. If I want grandchildren the right way, that's what I'm going to stand on. He stand on that. You know, if I don't want my other little girl to look at that and say, what's that, daddy? Contaminated. To somebody yeah. she looks up to, <laughs> it's not going to come around. My grandpa didn't let it. My daddy didn't let it. And I didn't let it. I just hope the one under me, when they take this throne, they don't let it. Because that's not what our family believe in. Like you say, we Southern Baptists. You know, I love my, me and my daughter relationship like this. But when she understands everything, she well, know daddy don't got Well, yes. Y'all relationship being like this is, 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 has been washed away because she came out and said it like it ain't like that, bro. She stood by your side. She said she stood by your side because you are dad, but you never made her feel accepted. We gonna get into that, though. Oh, she know, but that's what she chooses to do. But she know we don't go, we, we, we don't go for that. I'm like with the Houston mom. That shit gonna stay over there. <laughs> you can't be I, mad at that man though. Which one of your baby mamas you still fucking? Cause niggas always fucking they baby. No, yes. no. I ain't even come here for that shit part right there. So we're gonna get straight into the other video. Man. I really don't even know where to start for real because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want. And he want me to give him what he want as well. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, And... It's it been about two years now that I'll I be quiet. I'll keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. He was asked about it. Just like he always is asked about it. And he spoke on it because he was asked about it. He may not have explained it very well, but he was asked. He didn't speak on it. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like... I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha, and he used the word contaminating. 
and putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you get on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said... You found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B-word, when you called me a gay B-word. So if the world really knew... I hey, Booza called that girl a gay B-word, now he wrong for that. She, she should have never been that. I think Booza respond off off emotion every time when he gets some news like that because i probably would have been a little upset if my daughter came and told me something like that too but i wouldn't call her no gay b word now that's that he taking it way too far with that one now all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and i forgave you you wouldn't even understand and no matter how you feel at the end of the day Nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. And me, I feel like I done been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. And it's like the whole world can go against you, but I haven't won. Hmm. Since I've been a little girl, I never would go against you. Yeah. I, I think I'm really fed up. And you get to talking about God. Like, I don't know my God. He talking about God and how I grew up. I know my God from Nita, from my mama. My mama sent me scriptures every morning. My mama put me in the church home. I don't recall not one time I'm ever getting up with you and you taking me to to the Lord's house. I don't I don't never recall it. I didn't I didn't learn that from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Even if it's you, you get what I'm saying? And it's and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. I never said you was a bad father because you not. You gonna make sure your kids straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bro. Let me stop it right there because I understand that she's 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 feeling the way she's feeling, man. But I got to say this, bro. That man is the head of a family. Not the head of a house. He is the head of a family. Any, anybody that has grown up and had real men in the house and around them know that you don't question 
the head of the family. You never question the head of the family because however he feels and his principles that he stand on, those are the things that made it so he could feed you. His principles and how he moves is what made it so that he could take care of the entire family. No one should question it. He might be wrong in some things. And I think, yeah, you call him out when he's wrong. But from what I understood, what he just said, the Boosie didn't say nothing bad about his daughter. He just said he don't allow her lifestyle into his own. That's all he said. And he's not wrong for that. Now, what's been going on behind the scenes, I think they should have did this between each other. She shouldn't have came to social media and did this. This is just me. I don't think she should have came to social media. He he was asked about you, baby girl. He didn't voluntarily say, hey, let me say something about my daughter because this didn't threat. He didn't do that. But she's responding out of emotion. But I stand with Boosie and I stand with the daughter too because she feels a certain way. But it's ways to get past this. You need to do this as a family. This is just me. I feel like they need to be off the social media thing, bro. And I know you suck with that because <clears throat> you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids before you come to us and have that conversation. He didn't did about six, seven interviews about me being gay, right? We ain't not never have, he ain't never not have one sit down with me, myself, just him and Aviana. And ask me, why you became that way, fat? What what triggered you? What he is it, it never been that. Every answer, every question y'all asking him, and he giving y'all them answers. If I go ask him that, he wouldn't give me an answer. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't, he don't. The things that he do, bruh. I would have never thought he would do. And it's like, I came to the point to where uh, yesterday, it just really did it to me because I'm like, bro, I would not, I would always not say something because I would feel like I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the grain and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. But it's like, you making me do that. They not even making me do that. You making me do that, nigga, because you steady speaking on me. You steady. Like, I will respect if you if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I can never get that from you. If y'all go look at my interview, I feel it, though. Y'all will see. That's why Anytime I said they should they do this in private. Like, my daddy don't fuck with me or he this and that. I say he love me regardless. This my pops. I ain't going against him. Y'all ain't going to turn me against him. I always stood on it. And it's like, I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care about my feelings no more. You just don't care about my heart. Because you entitled to feel how you feel. You entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities, a lot of op opportunities have been missed because you are my father. But that's something I can't change. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go around like I don't fuck with that nigga anyway because he don't fuck with me. I don't do that just so I can get on. You know what I'm saying? And with this music shit, if you broadcast. My music, the way you broadcast me being gay, maybe I'll be further than what I am. But you so worried about me being gay, you can't even see my, my true talent. The world always talking about, I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, I don't remember the last time he told me that. I don't remember the last time I got that from him. And I'm always grateful. It don't matter what he gives me. It don't matter. And I barely even ask him for something. Hmm. That's why I want, him, want, want my own so bad. That's why I'm hosting the debut. That's why I'm trying to do little features. That's why I'm doing little interviews because I want my own. 
I want my own and he know that. He know that, bro. Like, that don't make no sense. I pay for most of my videos. I pay for most of this. You not doing nothing. You not supporting me like you should. And I don't hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. I still love you. I still don't downplay you, talk about you. But I'm tired of sparing. I'm tired of sparing. And I'm tired of just feeling like I'm just letting you play with me because you my pops. I'm tired of feeling like that. And I love you regardless. I'm always going to love you. But it's no way I'm finna keep letting you speak on me. And I'm not going to speak on you. This is family business, bro. It shouldn't even be out like that. And she has a right to feel how she feel, bro. But also Boosie does too. I think it's more so her being spoke on in public. And because she just said that if he had to say that, look, my daughter know how I feel about that. Let's move on to the next question. This is family business, man. It, it's, it's, it's really, it really should be uncomfortable for us to watch this. It really should be uncomfortable for us to watch this because it's personal, man. Because, see, people going to get their ideas about what Ivy is saying about her daughter. I mean, about what Ivy says about her dad, I mean. Because they already got their idea about what Boosie say anyway. But they, we, everybody already got their opinion on what Boosie say about it, uh, you know, the whole homosexual thing. And that's why this needs to be family discussed and private. Because once people pick up on this video, they probably already have. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be backlash for Boosie. And if it becomes backlash for Boosie, then guess what? The empire gets torn down. And if the empire gets torn down, this makes it harder for him. And if it makes it harder for him, then it makes it harder for her brothers and sisters. So I think we just need to, as black people, bro, we always do this. We need to start thinking before we do stuff. Boosie is an entertainer. They go ask him questions. They go be in his business all the time. And she think that it's just simple as, look, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? It ain't that simple. Especially if you get paid for an interview and you ain't discussed, hey, don't ask me these type of questions with these folks. Because they might as well say, well, if we can't ask you these questions, then we can't pay you. You know? Boozy all about his bag. But I just feel like it was the way that he answered it. So I, I don't know, man. That's my opinion. What y'all think? There's no way I can't do that. And for the people that, that do support me and do know Ivy, I appreciate you. With everything in my heart, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to just be myself, express myself, express myself through these through this music, through YouTube channels, anything I want to do. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up because the haters, like that's something I can be used to. Like they don't know me. They 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 can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You though, you though, like you know me. You my daddy. You don't you 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 don't continue to to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do it do it to you. I ain't never done that to you. It's certain things that the world would never know that I'll take to my grave for you, and you know that. You know that. It's certain things that I know, certain conversations that you done told me, certain hurtful words you done told me that, that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you. And you know this. You know this, bro, but I'm really kind of disappointed that I had to come on here and do this, and it, and I let it get to me like this, but, bro, I feel like this is the only way I can feel better, and y'all probably say, why you don't call him, why you don't go to him, why he don't call me and come to me, why he don't do me that, so... With that being said, that'll be my last time speaking on it. As long as it's his last time speaking on it. And it probably won't be. I'll just put this. I I, I use my music to vent. And if y'all would have been listening, y'all would have been hearing little things in my music. Because that's what I use to vent. That's what I use to cope. So in October, I drop a new project. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me and Jordan YouTube channel. I have been Jordan. And I pray that everybody just keep being them. Be you. Because you you. And at, at the end of the day, 
Everybody is human. You human, I'm human, and he human too, if he don't know it. So, yeah. Damn, I'm back on the contaminating, because why would you even say that? Like, like, you make it sound like I'm, like, ill or something. Like, nigga, what? Like, contaminating. If anything, you're contaminating. How about that? You got a whole song about two girls kissing in the back seat. You've been, you've been performing this since I was about three, four years old. So what you talking about? You still perform it on the stage now. If that ain't contaminating, then what is? Man, well, there y'all have it, man. She said what she said. Uh, and, you know, I, I feel like she's she's warranted in what she said. She has a right to say what she wants to say. But I still say Boosie, is, he, he got a right to feel how he feel and think the way he think too. You know, uh, I was always raised that when you get grown and you get your own place, you can do whatever it is that you want to. See, we live in a generation where these young but these young folk, and mind y'all, I'm 37 years old. So we live in a generation now where young folk feel like they feel entitled. Like, because I'm your child, no matter how old I am, you're supposed to accept whatever I do. Well, who the hell told you that? Because let me put it to you like this here. If my son was a killer and I knew he was a killer, you telling me that I'm supposed to accept him Running around here killing motherfuckers? No. No. I'm not accepting my child's bull crap, especially if I didn't raise you that way. No. Not going to do it. That's all I had to say on this, man. Y'all get in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think about this video, bro. And don't, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, man. But this your boy, Bo, signing out, telling you to stay up, stay down. But most importantly, dog, stay real.